Hey family, we are going to hop straight into it guys. I'm going to go ahead and use my micellar water to tone and cleanse my face after washing it. Guys, I actually fell asleep last night with my makeup on and I woke up to a face full of a greasy hot mess, okay? Um... Yeah, so definitely within the next couple of days, I'm going to be doing extra things, extra love and care and tenderness for my skin, guys, because of that reason. But yeah, guys, um, welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys are here with me for another video. And guys, I'm just going to, you know, as always chop it up with you guys about what the Holy Spirit has been impressing on me, what the Lord has been speaking to me. And guys, you know this part. Um, you know, I'm doing my moisturizer, going ahead and putting my oils back in my skin after washing. And then I'll prep my under eyes, you know, with my um, deep puffer serum. But yeah, guys, so... I don't know if it's just me, guys, but sometimes the Holy Spirit picks, like, some of the strangest times to, you know, um, press different things on my heart. And it just amazes me how the Lord, you know, will pick even the, you know, the, the minuscule things that you go through each day, you know, to teach you about different things concerning his will and his word. And so guys, now I'm just taking that um that baby skin pore um I guess pore reducer. I think that's the name of it, guys. If not, please forgive me. I don't have it in front of me at the moment, but I'm just going ahead and putting that on as my primer today. And guys, if you see me sniffling on the video, I am still getting over that cold situation that I had going on, but I feel a lot better um, from when it initially started. So I'm very thankful to the Lord for that because guys, them first couple of days was really, really miserable for me. But anywho, guys, I am just taking that Else Concealer in the shade Tan Walnut, and I'm just kind of taking what was left over from me doing my brows to um, just color correct what I would usually, you guys know, I would usually use like my LA Pro Concealer in Peach, but guys, I have not been able to find it at any beauty supply, the peach um, color, so, you know, I've just been using this, um, the Tan Walnut and the Else Concealer. And I did not do my brows on camera, guys, because I really, um, I really didn't take a whole lot of time on my brows today for the reason I do have a wig on today and it has bangs. So my forehead will pretty much be covered. So, um, I, I didn't include that part, guys. Um, you know, if you want to see how I do my brows feel free to go ahead and watch a previous video. Um, I do include it in, you know, most of my former videos before this one. And so guys, next I'm taking this, um, it's the eyeshadow, um, I guess, base primer type deal. And I can't remember the, the brand name. I got it off of Amazon, guys. It's supposed to be comparable to the P. Louise base. But I'm just taking this and I'm going to go ahead and pop it on my lid um, because I am using a pretty, pretty light color today. But yeah, guys, so anyway, back to what I was saying, guys. Um, so the Lord has really been, he's been really answering a lot of prayers of mine recently. And the other day, um, he answered one of the prayers. I remember I didn't, I almost didn't, it wasn't that I didn't feel happy, but it was almost like, 
But yeah, guys, like I was saying, um, it wasn't that I w wasn't happy. I was happy. But the Holy Spirit made me like zoom in on like my actual reaction. And my reaction was kind of just like very still. It's almost like, you know, I, you know, I was expecting God to do it. And it was just kind of like a nonchalant type of um, reaction, which is very um, not normal for me. Usually when the Lord is working, you know, and I can finally see with my physical eyes, I'm really very, very um, joyous. But nonetheless, um, the Holy Spirit made me pay attention to how I was acting that day when, you know, this particular prayer had got answered and the Lord spoke to me and he revealed to me that a lot of times with his children, because we have waited so long and may have went through, you know, um, some road bumps to get there, you know, it's almost like we have that type of, you know, nonchalant, um, attitude when the Lord answers our prayers and the Lord started, um, he started just impressing that on me, you know, to, to be joyous and, you know, to stress how, you know, even if you went through some things to get there, that you should still, you know, be joyous and have a grateful heart. Um, you know, and guys, you know, I really, really was like really reflecting on that and how, you know, I had been, um, responding, you know, to that prayer being answered and guys, so now I went ahead and set, um, that eyeshadow base primer with my, um, cover girls translucent setting powder and now I'm just taking this pastel palette that I purchased off of Amazon and I'm going to go ahead and start my shadows guys and guys just to let you know I only used two shadows for today's look I did something really quick and simple you know I'm trying to um, show you guys just you know easy but still fun and pretty looks that you can do that doesn't you know, that isn't so time consuming because if some of you are like me, you know, I'm busy. I have children. I have a whole household and a lot of days it's just unrealistic to think that you can sit for hours to do makeup. And so I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to cater to those people like myself that may come across my videos. But yeah, guys, so anyway, um, the Lord was also um, talking to me about telling his children to breathe. And I totally understood this, you know, when the Lord spoke to me, because guys, it's like lately I've been like almost holding my breath for th different things to pass. And the Lord was saying, you know, that his children need to learn to breathe. And part of you breathing is having trust in him that he is God and that he is doing the things that you need him to do in your life. Okay. So he was impressing that on my spirit as well to just breathe and that it was okay. You know, that all was well with his children, no matter how bad it may look that all was well. And, you know, and so I've been trying to just breathe. And I notice when I do get in that state of mind, I almost feel, feel like I'm anxious. Um, it makes me feel very anxious, very like, um, like on like pins and needles type vibes. And I really don't like feeling like that, but, you know, thank God for prayer. And I pray that all of you who um, come across this video, that you can also breathe 
and take a deep breath and relax and know that everything is well with you in Jesus Christ, okay? And no matter what you're going through, it will pass. So just breathe and know that God is working it out. You know, it, everything is coming together for your good. And so, guys, right now, I'm just kind of going back and forth with those two colors. I used a pink out that palette and, like, a, a pastel pink and a pastel, like, lavender color. And I was just going back and forth um, to my liking. And, guys, this is a new product that I picked up. It's a BB cream, and it's by Ruby Kisses. And I know the shade looks... Um, to be a little dark um but once it oxidizes it's actually a really good color for me now i am thinking about picking up um another one of these because so far i really like it it's lightweight um it's not as thick as a full coverage foundation but i feel like in these hot summer months you know um I'm trying to lean more towards a BB cream than I am a foundation, guys. And another thing about this product, guys, it dries matte. So if you're like me and you just love matte makeup, you know, it dries pretty matte and it stays pretty matte. Um, I've worn it now. I think today would have only been my second day, but so far I like it, guys. Excuse that strange noise in the background, guys. That's heaven, as always, coming in my room, interrupting my videos. But, um, yeah, so like I was saying, guys, it dries really matte. And the coverage is, to me, for it to be a BB cream, I really like it. So, yeah, guys, if you don't want to be dealing with that thick foundation, go ahead and give it a try. But, yeah, anywho, guys, so... Another thing that the Lord was impressing in on my spirit um, the other day, guys, was that a lot of his children, some of the prayers that we have prayed, okay, he actually had to come in and tear down a bunch of things to get us to that prayer. And I know sometimes it seems like when you start asking God for help, it's like at first, just things just, it's just so overwhelming and out of whack, you know, in your life. But you have to know that it's a purpose in that tearing down. You know, when the Lord comes in, he's going to, he's going to clean things up from inside and out. And he was speaking to me about how some of his children were getting discouraged because of this reason. And guys, um, I know some of us get on here and it seems like we don't have a care in the world, but I assure you, you know, we all go through things. It's just all in how you allow yourself to look at it and how you allow yourself to let God have control to do the things that he needs to do to get you to a place that's pleasing in his eyesight. And so guys, right now what I'm doing is that same tan walnut um, concealer that I corrected with, I am going um, over the BB cream to highlight and I'm just blending it in now. And I switch brushes underneath the eyes because um, this Real T Techniques brush is way smaller and it allows for me to get in those tight spaces you know, um, underneath my eyes. And so that's, that's basically what I'm doing right now, guys. But yeah, so don't get discouraged. I know when I, um, and I still have those times when I pray certain things and it's like, you know, it seems like just everything that you could possibly think of to not go right it doesn't and it's like okay you know it started sometimes if you're not firm in the lord jesus christ it can make you question whether or not um you know 
it's actually going for your good because sometimes it can be overwhelming. But I assure you, you know, just just because something looks a certain way doesn't mean that it's, it's that way. And the Lord has dealt with me a lot about that in my, my walk with him in these years. You know, he always emphasizes with me to look through my spiritual eyes and not my physical eyes. And also, guys, not only do you have to do that, you have to pray for God's understanding and not your own understanding because man's thoughts are vain and God's thoughts are above man. So, you know, we can't because our thoughts are so much lower than God's. We can't think like him. So you have to ask him for his understanding of things, guys, and he will give it to you. He will give you his understanding. And so, guys, now I'm taking um, another one of my elf's concealers in the shade, the shade medium beige, guys. And I only put it um, under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my compass bow and What's left over from my cupid's bow, I placed it on my chin. Remember, guys, um, this whole look today is only emphasized or I'm only focusing on, you know, from basically my eyebrows down. Um, so that's why I'm not highlighting my forehead today. But yeah, guys, so make sure, you know, when you're going through things and you're experiencing things spiritually, just if the Lord is like pointing something out to you or you feel like you're struggling with something during that process, pray and ask God for whatever that thing is that you're lacking in when it comes to the spiritual part of your, um, you know, of your, your walk with God you know, for his will and his purpose. But yeah, guys, it, I know that sometimes when we're going through things spiritually, you know, and I have been guilty of this myself, you know, you'll have people tell you all these things that you should be doing. But it's like, you know, sometimes being on the outside looking in, it's easy to tell somebody to do something you know, especially when you're not the one going through it. But guys, you know, just try in these times when God is doing whatever he's doing with you or for you, you know, just have trust in him that it's, it's for your good. Even if it doesn't seem like it's for your good, it's for your good, guys. And so now, guys, what I'm doing, I am setting um, that concealer that I highlighted with, guys. And I'm using my Ben Nye's Banana Powder to do that. I've been told you guys that I have um, kind of went back to that powder. I used it for many years, and then I ran out. But by that time, I started trying new powders, and... I didn't come back to it, but guys, um, I've just been experiencing a lot of different, um, like cons with different, um, setting powders and the Ben Nye has always kind of like, you know, did what I needed it to do. So I went back to using it and guys, now I'm taking my Juvia's place. Um, I don't know which one this is, um, one of the palettes it is, but I'm going ahead and I'm just going to bronze with, um, this palette today. But yeah, guys, so don't think for one second that, you know, some of us, you know, we get on here and it's just smooth sailing, you know, through problems and through situations. Like it really takes the grace of God, you know, to be able to, you know, just get through, you know, the things that we experience and go through, guys. And so don't ever think just on the outside looking in at somebody's life or YouTube channel that it's because of their own might or their own will that they are able to, you know, 
count it all joy and, you know, still smile through, um, you know, through the different trials and tribulations and things that we go through. But yeah, guys, I just, I just hope that as always, you know, each one of you are staying encouraged. I pray that the Lord can help you breathe and help you relax through the things that you go through. And by doing that, you know, that's showing God that you have trust in him. I pray that the, the Lord help you to stay a faithful witness to him as he is a faithful witness to us. You know, I pray that whatever it is that you need in these times, spiritually and physically, that the Lord do those things or provide those things for you, beloved. And so now, guys, I'm taking my Cover Girls Clean um, powder, foundation powder, and I'm just setting um, the BB cream. And guys, um, to be honest, this BB cream is so matte and it dries so nicely on its own. This part is optional. I just did it because I wanted to tie the highlight in with the, um, the bronzer. And so, because I know my shade is in between foundation wise, I went ahead and used my powder to do that. But yeah, guys, stay encouraged and, you know, let God have his way. And sometimes, you know, it's hard. And sometimes, you know, letting God have his way means him having to kill off you self. Okay. And so it's okay. Like sometimes that process is very difficult. Okay. And I know, I know because the Lord has been dealing with me about killing a lot of my habits and just different things that I was used to doing. And guys, so now I'm taking my Max Mineralized Skin Finisher in the shade Deep, Dark Deepest, I believe. Yeah, Dark Deepest, guys. And excuse my grandbaby in the background coughing, guys. But in the shade Dark Deepest, and I'm just going ahead and just um, putting that also in the areas where I bronze with that Juvia's Place palette. And so, guys, you know this part. This is um, that Milani's Illuminating um, Powder that I use underneath my eyes and such to brighten it up. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to use it as a highlighting powder, but I use it for a highlighter powder and also to brighten up my under eye because it just gives it such a subtle glow um, and I really wish you could see it in person, but it's very subtle and it's very, very pretty. Um, but yeah, like on days when I don't want to extreme highlight, this is the powder that I go to, guys, or one of the powders that I go to. But yeah, guys, learn to relax and learn to trust God and learn to um, to know that everything is okay. And I mean, the Lord had even been speaking that to me you know, um, at certain points I kept hearing him say, all is well, all is well with you, child of God, all is well. And, you know, sometimes, you know, the Lord, uh, send us messages beforehand. We go through something and you have to hold on to that message that the Lord had recently spoke to you. But guys, now I'm taking that, um, that master chrome highlighting powder and I'm just going over um, the areas that I want to highlight today but yeah guys um, yesterday was heaven's birthday so shout out to baby girl for another year um, thanks to the Lord and um, guys I've been really really um, liking this lavender color so I wore it yesterday and then I wore it again today, but I've been really, really liking it, guys. And now I'm just going over um, my cheeks with my Milani's um, blush. 
that I like. Guys, I have had this blush for so many years, and I know that's probably bad to say because you probably shouldn't keep makeup that long, but I don't know who made the rule with that, you know, but it do just fine for me. So, you know, I'm still going to use it. I'm going to use it in, until it's gone. But next, I'm just setting my face, guys. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my lips, guys. I did use these two NYX's, um lipsticks. I use a darker purple and I use like a lavender color on the inside to do to give me like an ombre um, effect. But I used the darker purple one to basically to act as like a, a lip liner. And guys, I really, really enjoyed filming this look for you guys today. If you are still here to the end, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. And comment down below, guys, and tell me about some looks that you want me to do. Maybe I can do for you guys. And, yeah, you know, make sure you're interacting with me, guys. I would love to hear your testimonies and just different things spiritually, you know, that's been going on in your life. And guys, I thank you for supporting me. And, you know, as always, I'm sending peace, love, and blessings to you and your family and your loved ones. Guys, I'm sending just all love from my way to your way. And guys, as always, real beauty starts from within. Remember to be kind and remember to show God's love to others that you encounter each day. Remember that your kind words or, you know, just nice words may have been a difference. Okay, guys, I am back. This is the finished look with my hair. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, I did um, try to keep it very simple. You know, some of us are moms and are busy moms, and we don't have a whole lot of time to sit in front of the mirror and do our makeup. So, I've been trying to come up with new looks that you guys can do that's really quick, um, still fun, beautiful, and simple. And so, yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I only used two shadows to achieve um, this look, guys. And, yeah, guys, if you stay to the end, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. And remember, real beauty starts from within. I love you guys. And until next time, bye. <laughs>